So it's the last day of school for Aliyah and Sean so, and they were expected to bring snacks when they come to share with their friends. So, you know, when you have two kids in the same school, you do double the stuff. So I really like this. I feel that it's shareable, easy to share. I like this. Meanwhile, the invites are out for Leah's birthday. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for her. So this is our own form of hakara and bread. <laughs> this is actually chicken nuggets and very mini, mini sized loaves. And it's so crunchy. You won't even. Okay, there's a distinct taste of hakara and bread, but you won't really. You will really miss it if you actually do it this way. So it's just this crunchy chicken nugget in this. So that's what we're using for breakfast. Big beans will be here. Then um, some fries for the kids because they love fries. That's it. I'm, get, I'm getting exhausted. Well, well, hello and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I know I have not kept up with the vlogmas because I have news for you. Where do I start from? But anyway, welcome to my channel. My name is Abby, popularly known as Bubu from Bubu's Boulevard. And I have been doing the vlogmas series on this channel and today I have some bad news for you on the 14th of December 2020 news broke out that there had been a recent spike in the COVID-19 situation on the island now this is like the biggest spike 26 cases just like that overnight new cases so everybody started panicking and i was like oh god here we go christmas what's gonna happen about christmas what's gonna happen about vlogmas what's gonna happen about my baby's birthday it was just sad to hear and when i think about how this happened it just makes me even angry so they said um the the borders open eventually because tourism is one of the ways that Grenada make their money. The borders open, opened eventually. And um, they said there's, there was sort of a waiver for people who come to Sandals Resort. I don't know the nature of that waiver, but from what I heard, I'm not so sure. They said they don't really go into isolation or, or get quarantined. They just present their 
um, COVID test at the airport and if it's negative they just go straight to Sanders Resort so now this cluster of um, new COVID cases started from Sandals Resort by a guest I think and it spread to the workers in Sandals and the workers have spread it to their contacts in fact one of the workers family all of them have like about 13 of them were infected that was like a big one like a cluster of family so um it's sad we're angry we're upset but what can we do everybody has to take precautionary measures now more like everything is going back to the strict way of doing things before the christmas period everything is going as usual but the they're more strict now um social gatherings are prohibited the the most number you can have in a gathering is 10 people then places social event places <coughs> sorry social event places are suspending services for 7 to 14 days i think quarantine points the last video i went <laughs> i showed you if you've not watched it watch it here quarantine point has been closed too and that was like one of the highlights of christmas in grenada so it's just going i don't know what christmas is going to look like i don't know what vlogmas is going to look like because i can't be going out and i wanted to show you what christmas was all about in grenada i don't think i want to be showing you uh things the shenanigans in my house that one is strictly for me <laughs> so i don't even know if vlogmas series is going to continue and um why it even hurts me more is because I was preparing for my daughter's birthday party like we had it all planned out invites had been been distributed more invites were supposed to be distributed like it was her bash her birthday bash everybody was looking forward to it and this happened we just had to cancel i was going back and forth about canceling like i was drawing up plans like i was really looking like sherlock holmes drawing up plans what's just to make things work out for her and the kids who were looking forward to it but in the end it's not worth it to risk the safety of people so it's a little price to pay we hope that we celebrate next year and next year and next year and next year and next year why i wanted to celebrate this one is that seven is a beautiful number so seven seven is a significant number for me because um seven signifies um completion a b <laughs> seven signifies rest for you for people who want to delve into spirituality i wanted seven seven is a lucky number i wanted to do that and this is the first time in years that all her friends are on the island at the same time for christmas because usually during christmas a lot of her friends leave the island for vacation or they go to their home countries for Christmas, you know, because this island is, like I said, is, is a potluck of foreign, different foreigners. So most of them are not even here. Most of them come from different countries. And when they come here during the holidays, they leave. So this was the first time that all her friends were going to be at the same place together because of the COVID um, pandemic. They didn't want to travel. So we were looking forward to it. Like every everybody was looking forward to it. So it just breaks my heart to break little hearts, break my darling's heart, but that's a little price to pay. So what are we gonna expect from this vlogmas now? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm looking forward to cooking all down the national dish with a Grenadian and I want to taste it for the first time. So that is something you should look forward to. I might do the um, haul from judge.com, the one I showed you the other day, the cheapest online shop, um, because my stuff ha has arrived, but I'm not going to pick it. So fingers crossed that they are good enough for me to do a haul, a haul video. I might do it. We were really looking forward to having a Merry Christmas 
but i guess we just have to improvise and make it merry in the house inside the house so 2020 has been quite a year but if you made it to 2020 kudos to you praise god because this has been quite a year this year i decided that nothing is going to shut my joy down so i went all out did this braids <laughs> can you see this braids <laughs> It's quite long. I normally enjoy my braids when it's very long. I normally enjoy my braids when it's very long. Like, I even feel this is not long. This is butt length. But I feel this is not long. Like, I want it very, very long. I, I always like it scanty and long. But when I when the lady did this, she made it full and not as long as I wanted. I was telling her, feeding the braids, feeding the braids. She was like you want it longer than this i said keep feeding in the braids <laughs> man i that's how i enjoy my braids when they're very very long because we're tall and we need to make a statement it's not like i'm tall tall like i'm not now me can't build tall but come on like when i like to make a statement with my hair like i love to make statements with my hair so so i feel this is okay because nobody's is looking at my hair we're doing it but i'm doing it for me i'm doing my daughter's hair today this i did in a salon and mm, the money so whether the devil likes it or not we are going to enjoy christmas <laughs> we will enjoy christmas i was really looking forward to not cooking this christmas honestly i said i just wanted to go go to people's places and eat <laughs> like i am done with cooking and cooking like i want a break I was really looking forward to but this has happened so we just have to do the normal christmas meals and all that and i guess we are going to eat a lot of cake from alia's birthday so i look forward to that too if you are in grenada what are your plans for christmas knowing the recent news that has just shaken everybody off their feet right now let me know in the comment section and if you're watching from anywhere any part of the world thank you for watching and what are your plans for christmas i know it's not the same but please make it fun for yourself and for your family so what are your plans for christmas tell me in the comment section too i guess i'll show you the rest of the vlog that is if there's anything to vlog about but before you go further please press the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i'm posting my videos this channel is about parents and individuals a lot trying to find balance in life through productivity and intentional living like you are just trying to pursue all those goals that you have planned for yourself despite being a parent that is what this channel is all about yes you 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 it's about you it's about you it's about you not putting your needs at the back burner it's about you going for your goals it's about you doing what you were supposed to do so this is what the channel is all about then i show you places in the caribbean grenada to be precise because i live in grenada st george's grenada one of the most beautiful places in the world. I dare say that. So welcome to my channel and enjoy the vlog.
a package. See inside. I don't want to open it yet. So this is a closer look at the cake. You will see. You will actually see. Mama, I want to taste it. Don't taste it. You will actually see a bowling pin here. Because we were supposed to do it in a bowling alley, but because of the COVID, because of the COVID, we had to cancel. see the rainbow see the rainbow we see a lot of rainbows in Grenada so anytime I see a rainbow it means that it's, it's gonna, gonna be a, be a, a beautiful day. day anyway whether you see it or not it's gonna be a beautiful day I guess despite the COVID spike we're gonna have a beautiful Christmas Thank you.